Okay, today we're going to be looking at the division of polynomials. So let us define what a polynomial is. A polynomial is an expression of the form a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 to the x n minus 2 and plus so on and so forth until you get to a n 2 x squared plus a n 1 x to the power 1 plus a to the power 0. So in this, in this polynomial x is the variable n is a non-negative integer and a n, a n minus 1, so on and so forth, to a 2, a 1 and a0, these are all coef these are all um, coefficients and they are constant. This coefficient here, a n, is the leading coefficient. Um, <clears throat> and it can be equal to zero, and a to zero is the constant term. So let's look at an example. Say we had five a x cubed minus six x squared plus two x minus six. We say, um, we, we, if we've got this polynomial, the highest power. of x is the degree of the polynomial. So in this, this um, example here, this is a degree 3 polynomial. Um, what we're now going to do is do division use lot the, the skills of long division to divide polynomials, and there's this and there's step by steps that we can follow, um, to help us do that. So let's divide. We'll do an example to show how to do it. Divide x cubed plus two x minus eleven x plus six by x minus two. So let's just set this up like you would do any a long any long division that you would have done many years ago when you were doing primary school. So x cubed plus two x squared minus eleven x plus six. So in our um pulling in our division, this part here, we call that the dividend. And this part here we call the divisor. So the first step is, we look at here, we've got x cubed. We're going to divide x cubed by x. And the reason we're going to divide that by x is so when we come to do the multiplication part, because this has uh, um, got an x here, the x cubed part will disappear. That'll, make, that'll be clear in a wee moment. So x cubed divided by x is just x squared. So we put this x squared over here. And then we do x squared multiplied by the divisor. And we'll do this part at the side so that we don't, so we can um, just keep track of everything. So we're going to have x cubed 
minus 2x squared. So we're going to put this here. So we'll have our x cubed minus 2x squared. And then, as we used to do in long division, you subtract. So the x cubes, we lose the x cubes. And then 2x squared minus minus 2x squared is going to become plus 4x squared. Now this just falls down, and that will fall down too. Um, now we're going to look at this one. So we take our 4x squared, and again we divide it by x, and that then gives us 4x. So up here, we're going to have plus 4x. Now here, we take the 4x and we multiply it by the, the, the divisor. And that's going to give us 4x squared minus 8x. So we put this down here. So the 4x multiply by that and we bring this down to here. So the 4x squared minus 8x. And we subtract that, so this is going to, we're going to lose the x squared part, and this is then going to be minus 3x plus 6, so the 6 just falls down. So now we're going to take the minus 3x, and again divide that by x, and that's just going to give us minus 3. So up here we'll have minus 3, and then we do the minus 3, Multiply by the x minus 2, and that gives us minus 3x plus 6. So we'll do the minus 3x plus 6, and we minus that, and that's going to give us 0. Um, so in this example, um, x cubed plus 6, 2x minus 11 x plus 6 divided by x minus 2, let's put these on brackets, gives us x squared plus 4x minus 3. Now we said before this part here is called the dividend, this part here is the divisor, And this part here is called the quotient. Um, and we don't on this one we don't have a remainder, but we're now going to do an example where we will have a remainder. But we just do exactly the same method. So we're going to do 2x cubed minus x plus 52. And um, we're going to divide by x plus 3. Now, there's no, let's just note here, there's no x cubed, x squared term, sorry. So we can, but we're going to add it in, and that, so that we, we're going to have it as um, 0 x squared. So let's go and um, we'll set it up as before. So we've got x plus 3 is our divisor and we've got 2x cubed. Now we're going to add in plus 0x squared minus x plus 52. So again we take, we look at this term here, the first term We've got our 2x cubed and we're going to divide that by x and that gives us 2x squared. So we put the 2x squared up here and then we'll take the 2x squared and multiply it by x plus 3. So that's then going to give us 2x cubed plus 6x squared. So we'll write that here, 2x cubed plus 6x squared, and then we subtract. So this term comes out, 
and then we'll have minus 6x squared and the x will fall down. <coughs> um, now we're going to have minus x, um, sorry, no, minus 6x squared and we'll divide that by x and that's going to give us um, minus 6x. So we'll have our minus 6x up here and then we'll do minus 6x multiplied by x plus 3 which gives us minus 6x squared minus 9, oh not my, 9 is minus 9, um, minus 18x. So that is going to be down here, so that's going to give us minus 6x minus 18x and we subtract. Um, so we'll have this term cancelling out and then we'll have minus x minus minus 18 so it's going to become positive so that's going to be 17x and the 52 falls down and now we're going to take our 17x and divide it by x which gives us 17. So we'll have plus 17 here and then 17 multiplied by our x plus 3, we'll just write that in, 17x plus, now 17 multiplied by 3 which is 51 and then we subtract those, this term's going to cancel and we're going to have a remainder of 1. <coughs> so in this example here, we've got our dividend 2x cubed minus x plus 52. It's our dividend. And we can write that as being equal to our divisor x plus 3 times our quotient which is 2x squared minus 6 plus 17 plus our remainder. So this is our dividend, this is our divisor, this is our quotient, And this is our remainder. And this leads us to um, a little, um, what we call the division algorithm for polynomials. And that is um, the dividend is equal to the divisor multiplied by the quotient plus the remainder. So I hope that helps.